So, when I moved to London at 18, knew that I wanted to get into fashion, so I did an art foundation um, at London College of Fashion, and then um, I kind of always knew that I wanted to, I didn't think I wanted to do clothing, but I always knew I wanted to be in fashion, so then kind of went down more like product development, product design route, so like accessories, jewellery, footwear bags, and then got into cord waders, footwear, and then that was it. So we did a project at uni for Topshop in my second year and then they gave me an internship in the summer and then they employed me. So I was at Topshop for like three and a half years and then I went to Zara and then I went, I've done the round, then I went to Office, then I went to Kurt Geiger and then I came here, so I've been here for about a year. Yeah, it's great, it's really exciting. ASOS is great because it's massive and you've got loads of different customers, so you've got loads of options to design into, so you can kind of do a bit of everything, which is great. So you can do some really cool stuff, some really commercial stuff, some really girly stuff, some really glam stuff, so you get to do it kind of loads. It depends, it's quite different on a day to day basis, which is good. So we're like, you can be doing like trend work, or you can be designing, or you can be doing more technical stuff. So, like, obviously, on footwear, so like uh, fitting the footwear and working on like the technical side of things. So, yeah, it's quite broad. And then we like obviously have to do like big meetings where we sign the product off, so we kind of build ranges together with all our samples. And yeah, it's quite, it's quite varied, which is doesn't get boring. Um, I would say as a designer when not everything you want to get in the range gets in the range. So sometimes if so, you love something but maybe it's not um, as commercial as maybe something else is so then they'll go with a commercial option, which I also get but that's something that takes a long time to get used to and I think actually as you get more experienced you get used to you get joy out of maybe the cool. Not all. It's not always about the cool stuff that you want to that you want to get into the range. Sometimes doesn't. It's about the commercial stuff as well. And maybe you get more joy out of that as you get more experience. Yeah, it's fun. It's really fun. I love shoes as well, which helps. Um, it's really varied. It's really, especially ASOS. Like you get to do some really cool stuff. Uh, ASOS definitely is like, like I don't know if you know, but it's got loads of venture brands within ASOS, so we do like Weekend Collective and Collusion and all those kind of things, so from footwear we get to kind of do certain collaborations with the venture brands, which I think is really exciting because you get quite, a, they've got a very specific handwriting and you get to do something that maybe you wouldn't be able to do on main range, which is quite, good, quite a highlight working with ASOS. And then I'd say my highlight, career highlight is I was at Topshop years ago when we used to do London Fashion Week, so I've worked on Topshop Unique, which was amazing. I had kind of two mentees that I would speak to every few weeks just about how they were getting on um, with final major projects, give them kind of industry advice and um, share some of my experiences and then kind of help answer any questions they've got about the industry um, and just go through their work and yeah. It's a really exciting place to work. It's like really like progressive as a company and like they're really kind of relevant and constantly trying to push like creative ideas. They're really like design focused which is amazing as a designer. Um, the team's massive so you can kind of learn from so many different kind of 
functions. Um, yeah, it's a really kind of relevant and exciting place to work.